Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the value of cosine of 20 degrees times cosine of 40 degrees times cosine of 80 degrees. And we are not supposed to be using calculators of any kind. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the original problem. I have just copied it down over here. And since we are not supposed to be using calculators, so therefore we are going to think outside the box. So therefore we are going to multiply and divide by sine of 20 degrees to this given problem. So therefore let's go ahead and multiply and divide by sine of 20 degrees and now you might be wondering why did I multiply and divide by sine of 20 degrees I will explain it to you momentarily let's go ahead and combine these two quantities sine of 20 degrees time cosine of 20 degrees and here I have nicely wrote down sine of 20 degrees time cosine of 20 degrees and now we are going to use this double angle formula sine of 2 theta equals to 2 times sine theta cosine of theta if we divide both sides by 2 we can write this one as sine theta times cosine theta equals to 1 over 2 times sine of 2 theta so therefore sine of 20 degrees times cosine of 20 degrees could be written as 1 over 2 times sine of 2 times this angle 20 degrees so that turns out to be a sine of 40 degrees divided by 2 so therefore this part on the top I can replace that one by 1 over 2 sine of 40 degrees times cosine of 40 degrees times cosine of 80 degrees divided by sine of 20 degrees and now in this next step I put down this 1 over 2 at the denominator as you can see the rest on the top is same and now let's go ahead and focus on the top on the numerator this part only and now we are going to use double angle formula once again and on this part sine of 40 degrees times cosine of 40 degrees could be written as 1 over 2 times sine of 2 times 40 degrees so that turns out to be 1 over 2 times sine of 80 degrees so therefore I have replaced this part by this 1 over 2 times sine of 80 degrees as you can see over here and now let's move on to the right as we are running out of space on the left hand side and here as you can see I have brought this fraction 1 over 2 at the denominator and this could be written as 2 times this 2 sine of 20 degrees and in this next step this denominator has become 2 times 2 is 4 times sine of 20 degrees and in the numerator everything is same now let's focus on this numerator part only now we are going to use once again this double angle formula so sine of 80 degrees times cosine of 80 degrees could be written as 1 over 2 times sine of 160 degrees twice of this angle so therefore this numerator is going to become 1 over 2 times sine of 160 degrees divided by 4 times sine of 20 degrees so far so good and in this next step this 1 over 2 if we bring it down so that could be written as 2 times 4 is going to become 8 at the denominator and now let's recall this one more formula sine of theta could be written as sine of 180 degrees minus theta and now let's focus on this part in the denominator sine of 20 degrees so therefore sine of 20 degrees could be written as sine of 180 minus 20 that turns out to be a sine of 160 degrees so therefore 
this could be written as sine of 160 degrees on the numerator divided by a times this sine of 20 degrees could be written as a sine of 160 degrees now we can say that sine of 160 degrees and sine of 160 degrees they cancel each other out so we ended up with 1 over 8 so thus the value of this whole problem turns out to be 1 over 8 thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye